Hey guys, welcome back to my lessons. Today, we are going to be talking about culture, specifically Mexico's culture. And this has to do with Cinco de Mayo coming up. So let's go ahead and get to it. So what is Cinco de Mayo? And Cinco de Mayo literally translates to May 5th. And May 5th is the date of the victory of the Battle of Puebla. And what is Puebla? Well, Puebla is a city in Mexico. So who was in the battle? Well, the Mexican army and the French took part in this battle. And can you guess who won? Mexico won. This is a big victory. So why is this significant? Because it's a story of the underdogs. Mexico was outnumbered and its army was not well equipped for this battle. And it was a time where the Mexican people came together, united, and took a stand. And that is big for any country, any city, anywhere. So a lot of people confuse this with Independence Day. And this is not Mexico Independence Day. Mexico's Independence Day is September 16, 1810. And those are two complete different celebrations. And it's important to know that. So let's get into some fun facts. Did you know that on this day, nearly 81 million avocados are consumed? That is a lot of avocados. Also, this day is mostly celebrated abroad and it's not really celebrated in Mexico or even Puebla, which is where it originally from. But for most people in the US and Mexico and other countries, this is a celebration of Mexico's culture. And can we really turn down a celebration of culture? No, we should embrace it. So if you wanna celebrate Cinco de Mayo, please do so. But it's very important that we understand what we're celebrating and really the specific of history of this date. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this quick lesson of Mexico's culture, Cinco de Mayo, and I hope to see you next time. Adios.